Ashley and Kaino from the My Best Self Project, and welcome to your daily Tarascope forecast for Thursday, the 20th of September. So let's have a look at our cards for today. We have the Magician, Awakening, and the Three of Fire. Okay, a quick overview of the energy for today. Today is all about really dialing in and mastering manifestation. And it's saying here that you have the ability to do it, but maybe you're losing that disconnect whenever you don't see things show up, feeling a little bit desperate or holding on to things or continuing to put that energy into putting the thought and energy out there to manifest rather than doing the letting go and allowing and trusting that you're on the right path and the universe is taking care of it. So let's dig in here and break this down. We have the magician, which says, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Without a doubt, you can manifest whatever you want, especially with the energy of today. So one, yes, like put out there what it is you want to manifest. And we are creeping up on a full moon soon, which is going to be happening on Monday. And a full moon is all about things coming into fruition and manifesting, especially if you've been planting seeds with the new moon and the past new moons. This is the time when you can see things start to manifest for you. So it's letting you know like yes you are doing it however don't lose heart if you haven't seen the stuff manifest yet or if it's not manifesting right away and that's where awakening is coming in here awakening is also known as the hanged man in the traditional tarot because you can see here the angels hanging upside down and it's really about feeling in limbo it's about having to see things from a different perspective um, about things maybe not progressing right now like I said in limbo a standstill and that's what this card says look at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill still it's important to be yourself so what this card is really saying is even though you may not be seeing the results of what you've been manifesting right now just trust and know that sometimes these things take time it's like incubating I don't know if you've ever had a baby before <laughs> it takes nine and a half months like cook up one before it comes out and trust me you get very impatient sometimes when you're pregnant because you just want the baby already and you have to be so patient and wait and wait and wait and like waiting the majority of a year is hard. It's hard to even wait a week for some things in your life, right? Or wait a month or a few months. But this is letting you know that, you know, sometimes things need to brew. Sometimes things need to be growing. And you may not see it happening just like whenever you plant that seed from an apple and you know that it's like you're nurturing it and you're watering it, but you haven't seen it sprout yet. And you're like, is it fucking dead? Did I do something wrong? It's saying don't freak out and don't put that energy into it. Trust and keep nurturing and know it's growing. And and just know that if you're feeling in limbo, that look at this from a different perspective of check yourself. Are you doing the work? Have you been letting go? Have you been staying positive? Have you been aligned to what it is you want? Check all this stuff. And if you've been a little bit too kind of obsessed with your outcome, with manifesting, it's telling you to stand back and have a little bit of a standstill with that and lean in and trust the universe a little bit more, okay? And when it's saying it's important to be yourself, it's important to just remember who you are and remember that you are someone who can manifest. Don't doubt your skills and abilities here. Just because it doesn't show right away doesn't mean it's not coming. So stop putting that negative energy in there because that all that's going to do is delay this and stop the manifesting, which is so hard to do because like when we want it, we're like, ah, but then when we're putting the negative energy in, we start putting more negative energy in because we know we're putting negative energy in. So it's really about just standing back and being like, stop and trust. And that's what this card is ultimately saying. Like, look at this from a different perspective. You've been doing the work, right? Haven't you? So just step back and chill the beans. Chill out. Abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So a lot of this card, the meaning is about patience, that you actually are on the right path here. And even though you may not see that you're on the right path or see any kind of evidence of that, or maybe you feel like it's going wrong and there's obstacles and it's going the total opposite direction, it's actually letting you know that these are little course corrections and nudges in the right direction. You actually are on the right path. This is just more of a long-term goal, a long-term thing you're working towards. But Trust, this card is a major, major letting you know you are on the right path. You are doing good, okay? But sometimes we just need to stop, chill out, and kind of look at what we have done so far. Have you been doing the right stuff? Have you been doing the manifesting? Have you been staying positive? Have you been letting go? And then just, you know, take that time to be like, okay, it's okay. And then make positive steps forward. Any course corrections, if there's any kind of drama that the universe has thrown at you, which by the way, also comes up around the full moon for you to address it and let go of it. So you can actually bring in what you want. If that drama is coming in, 
just be aware that it's there for you to kind of expunge, to get out of your life, to fix and resolve so you can get to where you want to go. So the three of fire is saying just that, like you're on the path to abundance to what you want, okay? So you are going in the right direction. Just have patience and know that when things are coming in your path here, any kind of obstacles, it's truly for you to just course correct. You may have slipped off path a little bit and it's just to get you back on trust is key here. So is this resonating with you at all? I know I ask this every day, but I really love to know because, you know, I resonate with the cards a lot that come out, but I would love to hear how this is affecting your life or where in your life you're seeing this happening. So comment below and let me know. Okay, our angel message of the day, emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. So again, this is just like reminding you that it's okay to retreat and turn within and just really trust in your own feelings and your own guidance system here rather than second guessing everything up here. And that's again what the awakening is about. Look at things from a different perspective. So you could be really doubting yourself, doubting that things are manifesting when this is actually saying you have major manifesting power right now. Um, it's saying here like stop overthinking, stop the fear and all that kind of stuff and you know second guessing yourself and trust in here more, listen to here more and align with here more got the heart on. And um, this is about, you know, have you been taking actions according to your heart? Or are you giving into fear? And if you have been given into fear, just cancel, clear, delete, okay? And just realign yourself to love and gratitude and positive energies. And you can even see she's making a heart shape too. Her whole shape is making that. So it's just reminding you that if you do feel you've been off track, and you've been needing the course correct, in fact, that's making a heart too. It's reminding you to just tune back into your heart and to stay aligned with things that make you happy and the energy of love in all its forms. And that's what's going to get you back, course corrected back onto the path of abundance and manifesting what you want. And our affirmation of the day, happiness is my birthright. Honestly, this is about just leaning into happiness and whatever makes you happy. And that's going to be the best energy for you right now for you to manifest. The more you lean into fear and worry and doubt, the more you're really just breeding that and you're letting your mind get out of control. And this whole thing about manifesting, it's nothing to do with this. Like, yes, we create the thoughts and the thought is what shoots out that rocket of desire for what we want to manifest, but the rest is about your emotional guidance system, all right? It's about your energy and vibrating and matching what it is you want to come in, and that comes from love and happiness. And remember, you have a right to be happy. We all do. It's not like you were put on this planet to suffer and other people were here to be happy. Like, yes, you may encounter harder tests than other people, but that's because you're actually ready for it, and you signed up for that. That was your sole contract before you even incarnated here, and it's because because you knew you could do it and you knew you could overcome. So just remember, no matter what's going on in your life, ultimately by you approaching it with this higher awareness of, oh, all these obstacles are actually here to make things better and put me on the path to where I want to go. If you remember that, that's going to lead to your happiness, okay? And just staying in line with being happy and keeping your emotions happy and in tune with love, you're going to see things manifest for you. Just chill out and don't worry so much. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Tyroscope. Do not forget that you can get a private reading with me for as little as $18. I can do a pre-recorded video and get it shipped out to you within a day or two. So you can catch the link for that in the description. Other than that, I look forward to bringing your Tyroscope tomorrow. Bye.